What is up and welcome back. My name is Brett Martineau and this is Think Like Me or Don't, Utah edition. That's right, we drove for 10 hours yesterday and I am super dry and you can hear it in my voice. There, It's gonna be a fun week. In this video, we're gonna continue our task warrior trend because it seems to be a theme and I seem to be enjoying making these videos, so why not continue? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how you can create project templates. Now you might be wondering, why would a project template even make a difference in a system like Task Warrior? Why not just add the tasks as they come up? As a freelancer, it is imperative for your long-term income and success and growth as a business that you create systems. And systems mean you wanna be doing the same things over and over again, because that makes it easier for you to get narrowed in on exactly what you do. It makes it easier for you to market yourself. And most importantly, it makes it easier for you to actually do what it is that you sold to your customers that you were going to do. And so the more you create these systems and the more you create repeatable processes, the better your life is going to be. The problem is having a repeatable process is great, but if your task management system doesn't know about the repeatable process, you could run into a situation where you end up having to spend all the time that you saved by using a system like Task Warrior on creating all the tasks for this new project. And most likely, in fact, I can almost guarantee this, you'll forget one. So you'll end up getting halfway through your project and then realize that you forgot to add a task that's crucial right in the middle. You don't have to re-add the whole thing, reconfigure the whole, the whole project to make sure that it works correctly. It's very, very important, A, that you have systems and processes and repeatable tasks that you're actually doing for your clients, but B, that that repeatable process, that project is built into the task management system. So I say that only because what I'm about to show you is a little bit technical and it is a little bit involved but it's worth understanding and knowing. And I've actually done most of the hard work for you. I've done the research to figure out exactly how this works and what you need to do. So all you gotta do is copy exactly what I tell you to do and you'll be fine. Now, at the end of this video, I am gonna show you a little trick of how you can create dependencies within the tasks of the project so that when you create the project, you run your little action, it'll create all of your tasks and it will also create the dependencies, meaning Task Warrior will already know which tasks have to wait for another task to be done before they can be completed. If you have questions, make sure to drop them in the comment box below. Let's get into it. All right, so you may remember, uh, I made a video a little while back uh, talking about how you can create your ever updating dashboard. And we use that command called while true, remember that? If not, don't worry about it. There's a thing you can do inside the terminal where you stick a double ampersand between two separate commands and the terminal will treat them as one. It'll run both of them. So whereas before you'd have to type in task add record video and then task add edit video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, for all these tasks, you can actually just run them at once. So if we just do task add record video, double ampersand, task add edit video, it will add both of them at once. So what that means is <clears throat> you can actually create a text file and we'll do so just in nano uh, project, you can just create a text file that has all of the tasks that you want and then just put an ampersand in between them. So you could just say task add record video, uh, double ampersand task add edit video, ampersand task add upload video. Right? And now every time you want to run this project, you just copy this text drop it into the terminal and you have your whole project there. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, th this is something you would have to actually copy and paste every time and it gets a little bit more difficult when you have to go find that file and copy the stuff in and paste it and do all that kind of stuff. So, what I actually like to do um, is create a file that will you can run. Create an executable file that has all of those tasks listed out in it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the same thing, sudo nano, and we're gonna call this uh, video project, okay? And that's gonna open up a new file inside nano, which is perfect. Now inside here, uh, we don't actually need the ampersands, we just separate everything from a new line. So we're gonna say task add record video, and then task add edit video, task add upload video, right? So now we've just got those separate on different lines. When we save this, all we have to do is make this file executable, right? And I've showed you how to do this before, but I'll show you again. You're gonna do sudo chmod, chmod, uh, which ch, I don't actually know what that's for, but it's modifying the permissions. Ch has some something or other, I don't know what it is. And then plus x for, oops. I do that every time. I do, anyway, 
plus x for executable, and then uh, we're going to put the name of the, of the file. So video project. Boom. Okay. Now, if we just do period and then backslash, and then the name video project, it will run that file and it will create all those tasks for us. So, what that means is if we create a list of these projects and we put them into this file, instead of having to go copy and paste the whole thing or cop add all those projects, those tasks one at a time, we can just run the, the file and it will automatically go for us. Now, what I want to show you next, this is the part of the video, by the way, that I warned you about before where it's going to get a little technical. This is the bonus stuff. So if that was good enough for you, you can stop the video now. No worries. Uh, but from here on, it's going to get a little bit a little bit crazy. So stick around with me if you want. Otherwise, I, I won't fault you for taking off at this point. That's what it comes down to. What we want to do now, if you saw, so the, the recording and editing and uploading a video, you can't upload the video until you've edited it, and you can't edit it until you've recorded it, right? So when we create these tasks, we, even if we run the file like we just did, we're going to have to go back and create those dependencies. So we know that task three, the upload video task, depends on the edit task being completed, and then task two, which is the edit task, depends on the recording task being completed, which just means that the recording task is going to have the highest priority because it needs to be done first, and then the edit task, and then the upload task, just because it has to happen in that order, okay? Now, we could just create the tasks and then go back and do the, edit the we could have, handle the, the dependencies ourselves after the fact if we wanted to, and that's totally fine. But what I wanted to show you is how you can actually build, bake in all those dependencies, because three task project, not that hard, but I do a lot of Facebook ad stuff for my clients, and uh, it gets pretty hairy. I've got, you know, a project template of 50 tasks, and there's interdependencies because I need things from them before I can get the things done. Anyway, uh, I'll take you through that in another video. But uh, for, for our purposes here, I just want to show you how you can set it up so that when you create these tasks, the dependencies are already baked in. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is jump back into our file. So sudo nano video project. Okay. Now you may have noticed when we created those tasks before, Task Warrior spits back an ID for each of the tasks. And you may also know that you can create uh, dependencies using the ID of a task that's already been created. So we're going to take those two things and mash them together. We're going to take the task that we just created, this first one, we're going to grab the ID, the task warrior spits back, and then we are going to use that ID in the next task that we're, we're generating. Okay. Now, again, this is getting a little complicated, and if you, if you scroll down to the description below, there's a link to a page on my website that has all this stuff written out. You can just copy and paste it. You don't need to worry about trying to take notes or any of that kind of stuff. So just, but just pay attention. This is good for you to know. So we're going to create first a variable for the that string of text that Task Warrior spits back. Uh, created task 18 period, right? That's the that's the, the text that gets sent back. But we can't actually use that. We only need the number. So we have to tell the terminal to remove everything except for the number, right? So what we're going to do first is create a variable for that string, and then we'll create a variable for removing it just and just showing us the number, and then we'll use that in the next task. Okay, so follow along. First thing is going to be record string equals, and then the tick mark, the hash mark, which is this key up here, uh, task add record video, which is fine, and then we'll just close it off at the end with another tick mark, right? Now we need a new line, because now we need to take that string and we need to convert it to just the number. So we're going to say record ID. By the way, this record string and record ID, those are just variables. Uh, it could be whatever you want. It could be one string, one ID, two string, two ID. It could just be one, two, three, four, all the way down. I just did it this way to keep everything straight. So record ID equals, then the hash mark again, and then we're going to do echo. And now we're going to take the variable we just created for record string, and we're going to stick that in. So we'll do a dollar sign, which is how you reference a variable that you've already created, and then record string. And now we need to uh, run a command called grep, and grep will strip out certain types of characters or certain like strings of characters within a larger string. In our purposes, we're just going to strip out everything but the numbers. So the way we do this is by using the pipe symbol, which is shift and then this right under your backspace key, to the forward slash, uh, and then grep, G-R-E-P, dash lowercase o, dash uppercase e, and then this part here, don't just copy and paste this. So now we've got that set for the first one, and the ID of the task that's going to be created for the 
for the record video task is going to be represented by the variable record ID, right? So now when we go to the edit video, we do the same exact thing. Now, one thing we need to add here is that we want this video, this edit video task to depend on the ID from the record video. So we're going to add in depends colon, and then remember we can use the variable with the dollar sign, so dollar sign record ID, right? And now we've just done the same thing with the edit uh, video task, so we can do the same thing for the upload video, depends colon dollar sign edit ID. Now we don't need to do all the string stuff for the last task because that's not going to be, we don't need to depend on that anywhere else. So now we'll just save this, and now if we come down here and we run that task, remember dot forward slash video project, it's going to create those tasks, and now if we go back to task down here, you will see the uh, dependencies are all baked in. So you can see this one here has a dependency that we just created. 35 is has a high priority because it, there's a task that depends on it. And then 35, thir, uh, 36 here is the edit video, which it has a dependency. And then uh, you can see upload to YouTube, which is down here, uh, 37. Oh, it's actually not showing, but it's there. It's down at the bottom because that we can't even do that until the rest of those are done, right? Um, so again, uh, click to the page on my site to uh, see all those different commands and the way that works. And you can get as complicated as you want. Like I said, my Facebook ads uh, project template has probably 50 tasks and they all have interdependencies and it's not like linear like that where the first one depends on the second one. Some of them depend on more than one and like there's weird intricacies. Um, by the way, you can also do the same thing with waiting. So, you know, I'll get into another video about how you can use variables. You can actually ask uh, at the beginning when someone goes to run the command, you can ask yourself, okay, when should we start this and when should when is this whole thing due? Because you can use those variables to create tasks that have due dates already baked in and also that wait until a certain day to start. It's really cool. So uh, anyway, we'll get into more of that. This has been a lot of fun. Um, I hope this makes sense to you. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Brett Martineau. This is Think Like Me or Don't. Task Warrior Utah Edition. We will see you in the next video.